Hello YouTube, welcome to your love story. I am your love story. Um, I want to talk to you ladies today and I want to start by saying I apologize for the language I'm about to use but some videos I cannot make it unless I'm real and unless I could express myself the way I would like to. I don't mean to disrespect anyone, I'm just talking about real life, real cases and truth that we need to hear sometimes or some people need to hear. This one is specifically, I want to talk to some ladies about why when you have a relationship, as soon as you get a little good dick, you change your life. You, you, you lose your mind. You, you, you lose who you are. And why am I saying this? Very simple. I, as soon as a lady gets comfortable with a guy, and I'm not talking about a relationship, I'm talking specifically about these ladies that fall in love within a week or two weeks or within three months, they having a child by some guy that they hardly knew. But yeah, they have five more kids by different guys too. So what is it about this type of females that as soon as any little thing happen, right away you feel like you're in love and you wanna give your whole life to this guy, but yeah, you're not even giving that attention to yourself. You're not even giving that love to yourself. And what about the kids that you already have? There's some females that will move out, out of the house after a man and leave the kids in the house. That's why you see a lot of kids unattended. That's why you, we hear a lot of sour, very bitter stories in, 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 in many people's life. My mom was on drugs. My mom was after this guy. My mom kicked, kicked me out because of her boyfriend. My mom, I mean, like, I know many people that have been through that. Um, as soon as my mom gets a new boyfriend, she kicked me out. Or she doesn't put attention to that. They will give all of their money and all of the attention to a man. Things that you won't do it for yourself. Things that you won't do it for your child. Things that you won't do to change your life. You change your life every single time you're in a new relationship, but you don't do that for you. You're doing that for the next person, for the next guy, for the next one that's coming because you love this one. So let me have a child with this one and let me neglect my kids. The problem of all of this is very simple. It's like a self-love. It's like a self-attention. Is I understand that we have gone through a whole bunch of stuff and our life may not be the way a lot of all the people's life is, but that doesn't mean that you have to throw your life in the trash. And you having five, six kids is lack of self-love. You need to take care of yourself. You need to put that attention towards you. You need to put that attention towards your kids, your kids' life, your kids' future. Why is it that every time someone is broken by life, what they do is neglect the other people that come into their life. Neglect, and, and it's like, I understand psychiatrist, excuse me, psychiatrist says, um, you know, it's a lot of uh, problems that this person, psychological problems. Me being a person who kind of had a life like that, who kind of lived everywhere, who kind of didn't have parents to, to have a settled home like a lot of people do, I understood very early in my life that it was up to me. Once I free myself from everything else and from everyone else, it was up to me. Whatever happening, whatever happiness was gonna come into my life, it was up to me. It took me a very long time to realize this. This is why I started doing these videos after I find out what it was, that you're no longer being abused by someone else, but you're being abused by yourself. Everything that happened in your life you, you grab the worst of it and you put it inside you and you kept it there. As soon as you free yourself from that, because once nobody is doing anything to you and you are free to move forward with your life and you don't do so, you are the one neglecting and abusing yourself. So ladies, start loving yourself more. Do you know what it is to be a child that you have a mother and your mother doesn't care about you because she's running after the next guy? Because she decided that a penis was better than, than my kid. And that's not necessarily what they are doing. And that's not necessarily what they are thinking. But that is what your child is feeling. That's what your child is seeing. Is seeing that, well, there go. She's going to date this nigga. And then in six months, she's going to be pregnant by another guy. And now, what about me? My mom never cared for me. My mom was never there for me. My mom was too busy doing stuff. And I am not talking about ladies who unfortunately have... Uh, a problem with drug addiction. I am not talking about um, ladies who have problems with alcoholism. No, I'm talking about ladies who have problems with their body and they are addicted to a dick. 
because the dick is more important than my family. The dick is more important than me. The dick is more important than, than the feeling I feel because this guy came on top of me and he did everything he did to me. He abused me and stuff like that. So I can't just move on from this loser. No, I have to move on to a biggest loser and I have to get a guy that abuses me more and I have to get a guy that tells me he loves me and then bounce and then passes through my house with another chick so my kids could see this. You think this ladies are thinking about this? You think this ladies are taking five to three minutes to think about their own personal life? They're just going with it. You know, they're just going with it. Every new day for them, it's not it's not a new day. It's part of the continuing of the same um, cycle, the same vicious cycle, because that's what it is. It's very vicious, it's very damaging, not only to you, but what are you doing to the generation you are raising? Are we are aware that our kids are uh, 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 our future? Are we are aware that our kids are a reflection of our lives? Are we are aware that our kids are going to struggle with the same things we struggle if we don't strengthen our lives? I think that when you are single, when you don't have kids, you can do whatever you want with your life. And then really, that's your life. As soon as a woman has a child, as soon as a woman gives birth to a human being, you don't know, depend on yourself anymore. And that's no longer your life. Because if you wanted that to be your life forever, and then you would have stayed single, and then you would have not never had kids. And you could have done whatever you want. But don't bring a human to this world and then not to know what to do with it. Don't bring a human to this world and not to know that this human needs attention, that this human needs love, that it's no longer about you. That you don't have to carry on with the pain and pass it on to your second generation. I'm gonna talk about something. My birth mother passed away when I was very, very young. I can't, I was so young that I can't even tell the exact age I lived. I live, I, I, I have patches of my life. My life is not a full clear uh, view. My life has patches everywhere. Meaning my mom was one of those ladies. My mom gave about four kids away. So I have four brothers somewhere. I know there's two in Puerto Rico. I do not know what the other ones are that I never met because my mom was a broken person and unfortunately she passed away of cancer when i was very young but she left five kids and when she passed my father passed before she did we went through hell so i didn't get to see many things because i was too young but i could see the pattern now my brothers and sisters my siblings they have a mess i have a brother that has seven to nine kids that we don't even know who they are i think i met to two of them or three uh i met my niece when she was 19 years old so my brother just jumping around i have a sister my younger sister who got pregnant at 13 and she just abandoned her kids now she's trying to build a life with those kids but she passed that damage to them they literally they never went to school they she never she never even registered <laughs> I mean, it hurts me to the core to know this. This is why I speak the way I speak. This is why I make this type of videos. This is why I want to bring awareness to the world of what's happening. Why are we doing this? Why can't you just live your life? You want to fuck everybody. So just go right ahead and do it on your own. Don't carry someone with you. Don't give birth to someone. Ladies, let's wait a little longer until you know that man. Until you get to know this man, this point to be attached to you for the rest of your life. Don't let a little sex change your life. It's not that good. It's not that, you know what's funny? I used to ask myself when I was younger, what is it about dick that some ladies lose their brain? What is it about, about sex? What is it about one penis that has this woman going like that? And it's not the penis. It's not the man. It's, this, it's the, the lack of self-love. It's the lack of self. I, 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 I don't even think it's love. It's, it's lack of finding who you are. Finding what's breaking you. Finding what's hurting you. Or what did hurt you. So you can let it behind. What we do, like I said before, is collect all the pain that we have. And put it in one little place. And whoop, we swallow that. It's ours. We're keeping that pain forever. Whatever they did to me as a child. They raped me and they did this and they did that. I'm going to keep this forever because it's my pain. No, it's not. No, it's not your pain. No, it's not for you to pass it on. I don't understand. I didn't have kids. I never gave birth. 
I have three beautiful children. They are my best friend's kids that I raised them and I love them with everything. So if you guys ever hear me say my kids, my kids, my kids, yes, I have three beautiful children on this planet. The kids that God wanted me to have because a lot of a lot of us don't understand that if it's written in God's book that you may have three to four kids, if you only have one, if you only give birth to one, or if the doctor tells you you are not allowed to have kids, you can't, your uterus didn't develop like it did to me. Guess what? If God said you're going to have kids, if he wrote it in that book and you're going to have kids, even if it's not your own kids, you end up raising your nephews, you end up raising your grandkids, you end up raising the neighbor's kids, you end up, at the end of the day, you have kids. At the end of the day, this was yours. That's what God placed in your life. But what God doesn't place in your life is a guy that comes and use you, a guy that comes and abuse you, a guy that comes and leaves you, a guy that comes and, and, and damage you even more than you were before. So you as a woman need to understand that you are a powerful being. You were created on God's image. I'm strong. I'm beautiful. I'm not going to allow the same thing that happened to me to, to happen to anybody else. I'm not going to give life on this earth. So it could be mistreated. So it could be abused, especially by me. Because when a child doesn't receive the love that he's supposed to have by his mom, that's a lost human. The first person that's supposed to nurture you, love you, and give you everything you need doesn't do that. You are a lost human. Because for the rest of your life, you're going to wonder, why didn't my mom love me? Why didn't my mom gave me what I deserve? Why didn't I get love from my mom? So you spend the rest of your life looking for the love that you were supposed to receive as a child. And therefore you go longing your whole life and mourning your whole life for someone to come and rescue you. When you are your own rescuer, you are your own healer, you are, besides God, everything that you need, you, only you could provide it for yourself. And only you could say, I'm not going to live this life. And I know a lot of ladies may say, well, she's talking a whole low and she ain't got no kids. Do I have to have kids? Do you understand that that's something that I chose until I find out I couldn't have kids? I thought my whole life it was a choice that I made. It's not that I didn't want to have kids. It's not that I didn't want to have a little me running around. But I said, because my life was so messed up, I don't want anybody. I don't want a child because if something happens to me, it does not matter who raises your child. Have you guys ever heard anybody tell you a story? It's like, yeah, I was raised by my grandmother, but my uncle used to rape me. Yeah, I was raised by my aunt, but my aunt's husband used to rape me. My cousin used to rape me. Meaning that when a child doesn't have a mother there, anything could happen. And I'm not saying that it cannot happen if he has a mother. But you know, mothers are there to protect you. Mothers are there to give you love. Mothers are there to give you attention. Mothers are not there to, to make you suffer. The person who gave birth to you is not the person who makes you break you. It's supposed to lift your spirit. Raise kings and queens in this world. Raise amazing people. People that are going to embrace you. If you raise your kids with love and attention and education and everything they need, even if you don't have money, I'm not talking about wealth. I'm talking about love. I'm talking about attention. I'm talking about the real person that needs to be connected with you. If you don't do that, you just had a being. Not a human, but a being. Not a human being. This is just a being that's walking around. Because what makes you a human is what's put in your heart from the beginning. What makes us human is to know that we are love. I didn't know I was love until I met my best friend that I just lost. And I didn't know what was left until I met God. Meaning, I grew up my whole life wondering, what if? So don't do that, ladies. Don't, don't fall in love with someone. Watch from far. Let someone show you they love you and your children before they walk into your life. Don't have another child because you think you're in love. And because you think that by having this child, this man is going to stay with you. No man stays with a woman just because you had a child no man stays with you because uh you cook good and you're good in bed a man stays with you because he loves you because he cares for you because he wants to see you do better because he wants to provide a beautiful life for you and your family
and that is the truth and that's what you should seek now when a man comes into your life and he is not providing any of those things for you you must not invite him into your life because the bible says do not invite evil into your home so ladies i'm going to leave you guys with this i'm sorry i got a little emotional but um these things really really affect me and this is why i chose this platform i never thought i was capable of doing this you understand this is why i decided to be a motivational speaker to motivate every single person that think i can't make it every single lady that thinks how now people come to me and they tell me oh man i wish i could do what you do and i wish i could talk like you when i just i can have this i spent 20 years of my life trying to kill myself with depression because i didn't think i had a gift i didn't have a, a college degree i didn't have this and i didn't have that and god told me you remember everything you went through in your life there's a lot of people going through that and your job is to serve me and to serve everyone. That's why I call this I am your love story. So the people that don't know, I receive messages from you guys and I turn it into a story and I make a video out of it. So I will continue to be your love story. Thank you so much for watching me guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope this was helpful to you guys. And uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you can get notifications of my videos. And don't miss any of them. God bless you guys. I love you guys so much. Like I said before, I'm not only helping you guys, but I'm also helping myself. Because when I speak about this, I heal. Uh, when I receive your messages, we, we, we cry together. We talk together. So continue to send me your, your, your messages. Continue to please tell me your story so I can retell them. And um, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless everyone. Stay safe. And don't forget to love yourself.